Hi viewers, welcome back to Mom and Jess Moment Talk Show. So here today we're taking an interesting episode referred to as being a responsible man in the men's series. Oh yes, you heard me right. Men's series, because everything has been women, 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 but men also need to hear this discussion. Viewers, if you are watching, please remember to subscribe to this channel, share with others. Especially men, a lot of things are happening in society, and you know, women are always the ones that are being focused on to fix things, role of a woman, what is the sickness or significance of a woman, this and that. We also have to pay attention to the men, you know. So may the Lord help us as we have for that Patrick to do justice to this topic. So with me today is Brother Patrick, Dr. Patrick Osaya, by the way. I just call him Brother Patrick because we attend the same church. Please, sir, you are welcome to Mom and Just Mommy Talk Show for another. I think this, this is the third time or fourth time we're having you. Please do well to introduce yourself in case there's someone watching you for the first time. Okay, uh, hello, viewers. Uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful to be here again. <laughs> and uh, I want to say that uh, the concept of uh, brother and doctor and the likes, <laughs> these are just, these are just titles. Uh, titles, they are just affiliations that mm -hmm. uh, just. The name I am aware is Osia. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my parents told me I'm um, Osia. Uh, but that's the, the people they, were to, they, they told me I'm my parents, which I've accepted as my parents. They told me I'm Osia and I'm Osia. Absolutely. Osia Patrick. I am. And I'm happy to be here. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Thank you so much yeah. for being here. And by the way, thank you for having me in your lovely home. <laughs> so let's also. hit the show. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, I'm mm, ready. Being a responsible man. So may we know your take on what it means. Or your perspective of what a responsible man should be. Okay, uh, 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 I think it's important first to for for us to conceptualize what responsibility itself is, mm. and then we can now put an affiliation to either being responsible as a man, uh, since it's a man a, a man series. Mm. Uh, for me, I believe that responsibility comes with obligations, right? right? Uh, uh, the need to take care. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to carry out some certain uh, activities that are assigned to uh, the position in which you occupy. Right. And so that's, that's, that's the concept. And for me, that is where I take it on when we talk about responsible men. Mm -hmm. is to understand your position in the society mm -hmm. uh, as, as a man, your position in the society as a family man, Family in the sense of maybe your father's family now, right. your extended family, right. and then your position as in, in in the family again as the head of the family. Hmm. So these are these are three layers now. Three, three roles. First, first as as a son or daughter, right? right? Your extended family, as a person in the society, mm -hmm. and as uh, the head of the family which you and your own personal, your own personal, family. personal family. That's your own nuclear family. Mm. So uh, mm. it's the obligations in which you carry. Mm. Which you are supposed by legal and moral uh, uh, rights or legal and moral uh, uh, backgrounds now, you need to put them to, to mm. ground. Yeah, mm. the, the obligations in the carry that's the set the space of a uh, responsible man. Wow, wow, that's well packaged. All right, may we understand what your, your, your takes like when it comes to expectations of a responsible man? What is expected of a responsible man? Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, like I said, we need to understand those three space, right? Mm -hmm. As as a society in the in the immediate family as well as the extended family. Uh, uh, the, the 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 first important thing to consider as a responsible man is to understand. Let me start from the space of being the nuclear family. Right. right. Uh, is to understand that as the head of the family, mm. you are you. It is your obligation to protect. Responsibility to protect active R that's R two P right R two P R two P responsibility mm. to protect it is your responsibility to protect your home mm. it's your responsibility mm. to take care of your home uh, in the sense of uh, physical responsibilities uh, material responsibility and spiritual responsibility mm. you are the first point of contact that's true, when so. it comes to your home. That's and uh, you must be ready to stay at the door. Absolutely. So it's not a situation whereby maybe uh, a situation whereby we have uh, maybe an unfortunate incident of uh, 
let's say a robbery incident, <laughs> then you run under the bed, and then you are the one behind, and then you are putting your children down. And, and so, so that itself will, will be connoting responsibility. Mm. So, uh, and, and that's on the point of protection. Yes. On the point of provision, it's your responsibility to provide for your home. Mm. The Bible say, uh, 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 the person that does not provide for his home is worse yeah, than an infidel. It's yeah. worse than an infidel one, yeah. right? So, so you are supposed to provide for mm. your home, mm. uh, and and then. Also, when it comes to responsibility, the name of you—you you are the one that carries the name mm, of your of, of of your your family extended and your family nuclear. You carry that name, so it's also your responsibility to to walk in within the space and the office of the name you carry. Mm. So even in your talk, you 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 cannot be caught off guard, and then you just talk anyhow, right? right? right. In your talk, in your in your demand in the society and everything. So, all this speaks to uh, the space of responsibility. Wow, wow. There's a lot of nuggets here. Men, I believe this will get somebody watching and blessed in life. Um, okay, let's also try to understand. Uh, um, I think the concern here is that there are a lot of irresponsible. I'm sorry to use this word. Like, attention is not being paid on the boy child. You know, so it's always the girl, 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 girl. And I think more often than not, this leads to the reason why we have um, irresponsible men. I'm not saying that they are not irresponsible women, but I believe you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. So why, what do you think is the reason for this, especially in our society? Okay, uh, uh, the first thing is that our society is now uh, uh, on the space of fast track, whereby we have um, Indomie, Mm. Indomie uh, mm. men, right? Uh, the society is a space where everybody, everything is just happening in the, in so the fast, fast place. People want fast results mm. and, and they are not ready to put in the work that is expected, mm. right? True. So that has, that has affected the society over time. That now we produce men that are not men enough, mm. right? We men. produce men that are actually boys. Hmm. Right, because uh, uh, first you come up on the space of boy, whereby you have a man that is supposed to protect you. Then you grow into that space of obligation that you now become responsible to also protect another generation after you. That's true. Right, so uh, that's that's it itself is another discussion hmm. for another day on the ground that the, the breakage of home and the breakage of the society, the fall in the culture and the way of life in the society that led to we producing half big men and then another thing is that the fact is that uh, uh there's a shift in responsibility in the world we find ourselves now mm. and that is the main that's the reason why we don't have people we don't we, we have a lot of men that are not responsible that's mm. not to say there are no men that are responsible but we tend to shift the focus now we shift the blame we shift uh, our work and obligation to others right things happen you don't you don't want to take you don't want to take it held on. I don't want to use the word responsibility. No, because I don't take, yeah, yeah. You don't you, you don't want to be accountable for your actions. You tend to push it to another. You know, when it comes mm. to the provision for the home, you push it to another. And that person is supposed to be responsible uh, for that. And if you cannot provide, you blame it on your parents. Mm. And because your parents did not blame do, game. The, the blame game. You you and the person you need to 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 see that is accountable for all these actions is the guy in the mirror. The guy you see in the mirror is the one responsible. So the shift in the society, mm. whereby uh, now we believe that the uh, actions has to be carried out by others, but never us, mm. right? Well. It's, uh, it's, it's fundamental. And then the culture we have now in the society, whereby we have half big men. Mm. 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 So basically, these are like the factors and causes of irresponsible men. I think it's also important to understand the long-lasting implications it will have, mm -hmm. not only on the families, on the society as well. What likely effects and implications do you think this co result to the happy men? Okay, uh, uh, like I said, it's a, it becomes a generational issue. Right. When uh, uh, you produce half big men, men men that are still boys in their orientation and thinking, mm. they grow up now to now. They are now within the position whereby they are supposed to take bring. They are now responsible to socialize the next generation after that. After mm. that, because they themselves are half big, mm. they tend to they don't know what is expected of them mm. as men, mm. what they are supposed to do. Uh, they just uh, go around not being conscious of what they are supposed to do. They pass that same. 
attitude to the next generation, generation of men, and then they too now start seeing it as they're giving. Like for instance, now uh, in the society now we have the culture. It's not when we speak about gender-based violence. I'm sorry, this is that's a diversion, but mm. an example mm. whereby uh, we we grew up in a society whereby we 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 tend to understand that uh, a man is fine for a man to be persistent, right? Mm. You get everything you ask mm. for. Mm. So a, a a boy that grows up getting everything he asks for, be, uh, the, the the space of entitlement. When he grows up to become a man, he carries out that. Mm. space and then you, you realize that the person start acting irresponsible right when it comes to even financial intelligence we are not taught financial intelligence even as kids so when you grow up now you are faced with the fact that you have to be the one to decide the finance of the home irresponsibility it comes, comes to play it becomes difficult the, the mm. so different angle even when it comes to the spiritual angle too mm. we are not taught or uh, over time that's that space of teaching father, the, the fatherhood you know what I'm the priest of the home. The priest of the home. Mm. Uh, who leads the prayer meeting mm. in your home, the family mm. altar. Uh, mm. You allow the women to do all these everything. things. Right? The woman is the one that leads the prayer meeting. Uh, she does everything in the house. She's the one that is doing the prayers and all that in the house. The society, which we have also encouraged the fact that we, we get to see that they say ah, a woman is supposed to be the praying person in the house. If for your home to stand, it is the responsibility of the woman. So a child growing up in that society assumes that mentality. That mentality. When it grows up, you feel okay, it's my wife that is supposed to be responsible for it. Even they're taking care of our children, right? And that is why the, the issue of, for instance, in the kitchen. We grew up with children that uh, uh, we said the boys are not allowed in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Right? They grew up also having that that's, mentality. That's true. So that's now the, the wife is supposed to be the one to, to cook, she's supposed to be the one to take care of the kids. It's all this is all women's job. Right? Hmm. So that mentality is what we carry up as men. And indirectly, and, an act of irresponsibility. And it is, hmm. it is not indirect, it's a direct act of it. It's just irresponsibility it in itself. It is well. Yeah. Thank you so much for your sincerity and you know being as transparent as possible. I know some viewers watching probably when they hear it coming from an African man, it might be a bit you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, offensive. I don't know if I should use that word because really, as you pointed out, there are some I know there are some African homes up to date that don't, don't allow the boy directly go to the kitchen. But from what you have shared with us now, it is important that everyone should take responsibility, even the men. Mm -hmm. You know, all responsibility should not be thrown mm -hmm. at the women from the onset because they grow up with that mentality. And it gets to a point where even you see a, a boy in the university or a guy, he can't help himself out, you know, mm -hmm. eating out and all of that. So responsibility comes from different angles, whether you're married, you're single and all of that. I pray the Lord will help us. So, sir, please just help the viewers with one or two takes on how... You know to resolve the issue of responsibility in terms of you know manhood i i trust and i know that you are one responsible person and someone watching might just be blessed and give a change of life from hearing what you have to say okay uh, thank you very much i i i think i need to put this here that uh, uh, uh coming to realize that it's our obligation to protect our home as men it's our obligation to ensure the, 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 the physical, emotional, and spiritual and mental mm. health mm. Of, mm. of everybody in our home, our wives, our kids, and everything. When you, when you see that as your obligation, you realize that you putting out help. Say, for instance, the, the example I just gave, man, work in the kitchen and all that. You, you come to realize that everything you do for your 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 family mm. you are practically doing it for yourself that's true right that's and that true. is why the bible talks yourself. about the bible talks about uh, uh, uh the the man to to present himself as christ to love his wife as christ loved the church mm. and what's the concept of christ loving the church in ephesians is a space of you ready to die for your home you ready to do everything it takes for the survivor of your home that's and right. if like i said if you come from the space that you know uh, uh for me it's a principle of um uh give and it shall be given unto you good measure press down shaking mm -hmm. together if you give right Definitely. if you show the, the you, you show some level of uh, act, of giving. act of giving your time your 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 resources to your home it comes back to you that's right true. it comes back to you within your nuclear space mm -hmm. 
it comes back to you within the society itself because it is the it is it is a it it, it is the effect of the the the, the homes whereby we have uh, parents the men especially whereby they are absent which the absence itself an absent parent itself is also irresponsible that's true. right so it is the effect of this that we now have all the menace we have in the society mm -hmm. whereby you see because the children are not well trained there is nobody to guide them on the way, right? They become problem in the society. And most of us at the end of the day, we all suffer together because when you have a criminal on the road mm. and Everyone you rape somebody or kill peace. somebody, we are all at risk. So you see, it starts from your home. Your home is at peace, you are at peace for yourself. Your society is also at peace. The mm. generation after you is also at peace. Mm. So mm. this is how it goes. Mm. Mm. Wow, there's a lot of work to be done with this regard because mm. I believe mm. that starting from somewhere, viewers watching, I, I believe that listening to what our brother has shared with us, I believe that somehow someone will just take a step back or reflect on, you know, how to do better. If you're a mother watching, I'm sure you've got a son, you know, raise your son well, teach him the right manners, values. If you're a young guy watching, you could also try to see how you can be more accountable. If there's a father watching, I pray that the Lord will help you and guide him, protect him, and securing your home. With that being said, we we'll end this episode. See you next episode. And please remember to subscribe to our channel. God bless you. Bye. Bye.